Today, we will be realizing the triple point of water. To complete this process successfully, you will need a waste receptacle, acetone, alcohol, the Isotech 452 ice mantle maker, the Isotech cell stand, a protective mask, protective gloves, and an apron. To begin, we must carefully remove the cell from the maintenance bath. But before we can do that, we need to know how to lift the cell. Isotech manufactures an A-style cell and a B-style cell. The A-style cells have a McLeod gauge, which is used to indicate if there is a microscopic leak in the cell's vacuum. If you have an A-type cell, it's okay to gently lift the McLeod gauge from the top. Just make sure you quickly support the bottom of the cell with your hand and relieve strain from the McLeod gauge. After removing the cell from the maintenance bath, carefully place the cell in the cell stand. Then, do two laps around the top rim with an acetone dispenser. Acetone is hygroscopic which means that it absorbs and dries water to minimize ice growth in the re-entrant tube of the cell. Once the acetone reaches the top of the cell's water line, remove the cell from the stand and dispose of the acetone into your waste receptacle. Afterwards, set a 10 minute timer while the acetone evaporates. Once the acetone has completely evaporated, gently insert your ice mantle maker into the triple point of water cell. While the mantle maker is inserted, Slowly fill the area between the mantle maker and the inner cell with 99% isopropyl alcohol. Now that you have inserted the alcohol, place the entire assembly on the floor so you can fill the device with liquid nitrogen. Before pouring liquid nitrogen, it is important to equip yourself with protective gear to minimize the chance that you get a cold burn. Take the liquid nitrogen doer and begin to slowly pour the liquid nitrogen into the mantle maker. It is important to understand that the mantle maker is not able to bear the load of the doer and that you must not rest the doer on the lip of the mantle maker. Continue pouring until the level reaches near the top of the mantle maker. Then, set a timer for 10 minutes while the mantle maker cools the cell. It is possible that ice can begin forming as soon as the first pour, so be on the lookout for that as well. After 10 minutes has passed, we can refill the mantle maker with liquid nitrogen. Now that the mantle maker has been filled again, we can set a timer for five minutes. At this stage, it is possible that a bridge can form at the top of the cell. Growth of a bridge can shatter the cell as the ice expands, so it is important to combat the bridge by using a warm cloth or glove. Once the triple point of water has successfully been realized, we need to remove the mantle maker from the cell. Then, we can take the cell out of the stand and perform an additional visual inspection. At this point, it will be more than obvious that the ice mantle has formed but it is important to wait until the ice is oscillating around inside the cell to take a measurement. The final step is to lower the cell into the maintenance bath and then the process is complete. Fast, easy, reliable, isotech.